What if I said that you are an expert at habits? You'd probably say, no way, I am so bad at habits. I, I can't get myself to work out. I, I can't get myself to do the things I want to be doing. I'm so bad at habits. My name is Deb Blum, and I'm a self-love and authenticity coach, the host of this particular YouTube channel. And I am here to talk to you today and over the next several days about habits. So I am no expert on habits. I have my own struggles with habits, but I think it's really important as any of us begin to grapple with habit and habit formation to remember that you indeed are an amazing habit forming machine. The problem is that many of our habits are formed somewhat unconsciously. They're kind of happening to us. But then there are a whole bunch of other habits that you don't even appreciate that are actually enriching, life enriching habits that you're really good at. So let's just talk a few about a few things about habits. Again, I'm no expert. You can go certainly search for all kinds of people who are gonna have TED Talks and, and other great um, things to say about habits, but I'm just gonna share with you a few of my thoughts over the next several days. So first and foremost, you are a habit-forming machine. Well, so this is the way our brain works. I'm no brain expert, but what happens is that our brain does what it gets reward for, and what it's repeated, like whatever you're doing that's repeating. So basically, if you keep on doing something over and over and over again, your brain kind of goes, oh, that's what we're doing now. And it starts to form all the things that need to be formed in the brain that make it more efficient. It's like your brain knows how to be efficient. And so if you keep on doing something, it actually does form new pathways. Well, let's just think about things like when you first started to drive a car. When you first started to drive a car, everything was so hard. You had to remember every little tiny detail, but slowly, but slowly, but um, surely your subconscious mind starts to sort of build these, these pathways. And it starts to know that like, when you put your blinker on, you know, like when you push the blinker down, you know, you're going to turn to the left, you push it up, you're going to turn to the right, you know, your brain starts to know and memorize like how far you need to be away from the center line. And, and like when you see a red light, you don't actually have to think as much anymore. Your just brain just knows that that means stop. And when it turns green, it means go. And all of you know this because you know that you have gotten somewhere at some point in your life and you've wondered, how did I get there? Well, that is an example of a habit. Or what about like what time you wake up in the morning or what time you go to bed at night? I mean, even if you're not precise, like even if you're not like, I wake up every single day at six o'clock, you still might wake up sometime between, you know, the hours of six and seven, or maybe you're a late sleeper and you wake up between the hours of nine and 10. And so there's some ways that you've built in habit. If nothing else, there's the habit of waking up and going to sleep. And so we have all kinds of habits we form. We have habits about the foods that we enjoy. We have habits about our phones. Let's just think, for example, this is why I talked about before, like a lot of our habits are happening unbeknownst to us. Well, you know, when your phone dings and bings and bongs, you know, every buzz and every time that you are drawn into that, you're getting a little dopamine hit. Your brain's kind of getting that like reward center activated and you get this habit. We have been kind of like almost like a victim by like Facebook and Apple and Snapchat and all these other um, other companies that have learned how to totally capitalize on our reward cycles and capitalize on habit formation. They know how to get us to make habits better than we do. So I want us to unpack the idea of how to form habits and how to be able to do these things that we wish to be doing, that we need to form habits in order to be successfully doing them. And how you know how we do it why it's hard for us to do it and kind of just look at it from maybe some different angles than you've considered before all right so remember you are a habit forming machine so get the idea out of your head that you do not know how to form habits that's the first thing first step is to acknowledge that you are good at forming habits because you are actually a master now, you may say, well, I'm not good at forming good habits. I would even disagree with that because I bet you, it, you, if you sat down with a pen and paper right now and you thought about all the good habits that you formed over your life, like for example, you know, do you go, like if you, if you, um, 
if you work at a company. Do you have a good habit that you actually go to work every day and that you actually get work done? How about like if you're a mother, like do you have a habit that every single day you feed your children and that you actually get them to school and you make sure that they get picked up and you're there for them for everything that they need? I think those are some pretty awesome habits. So let's start by acknowledging you're an excellent habit creator and get that idea that you are not good at habits out of your head right now. Thanks everybody. We'll talk to you in the next one.